everybody, I wanted to share with you the best toys for our special needs son and possibly daughter, what they absolutely love for Christmas. Griffin is playing with his favorite right now. Um, it is a portable, like, Bluetooth boom box, and he's listening to his favorite musical right now, Hamilton, aren't you? And he loves to turn the volume on really loud. Yes, you do. Um, it is his favorite toy right now. Christmas did good, Santa did good, right? I wanted to share with you because I got some things that you are a little unique, but it was really a great buy, huh? Oh. Totally. <laughs> I know everyone knows Play-Doh. The Play-Doh with my kids are a huge, huge hit, yes. Play-Doh, making all sorts of things. And Sawyer, of course, he got his, what do you got, what did you get? Your alphabet puzzle, which is his favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. He likes to match up the letters and put them in onto the screen. Is that your favorite thing to do with it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know this is after Christmas, and I know it's like, everyone's already bought all their gifts, but I just think some of them are really cool. I got this from Fat Brain, um, and it's just one of those like board books, but you have like the little lines. Griffin's like, you break them. I can't give it to you. I'm so sorry. He breaks these. He'll snap them in half. Uh, but you can do like, writing your letters and that's one of Sawyer's gifts and because he's so so smart he loved it. I love fat brain toys. I got a few of them I wanted to show you guys. I just they're just different toys than you normally see in like a Target or a Walmart. Now this one is one of Griff Griffin's favorite toys we got. I don't know what this is called but if you go to fatbrain.com you will see it. But it is let me take this up like see how it spirals up? Like this is Griffin's jam. He loves it. Um it, it's, it's very sensory satisfying, even for an adult. Like, I love that feeling so, so, so much. Like, look at that. And then you just, I mean, seriously, come on guys. Like, and it wasn't horribly expensive, but we'll have this for a really long time. Um, this was like Griffin's, one of Griffin's favorite toys, um, excluding like the boom box that he got. And then the next toy we got, which I got from Fat Brain too, it's really cool because they're like suction cups and they suction cups to, to things and like Griffin can kind of chew on them too because he's got, you know, sensory issues with his mouth so it really helps him. He can chew on it or he can, you know, it can stick to like, like, and Griffin loves to pull things off of things. So this is a huge love and Lindy likes it too. We don't need to dump them all out, do we? We just cleaned them up. Here, take a few. You want to dump them all out? That is a almost three-year-old for you. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's silly. That is so, 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 so silly. Are they stuck? You gotta dig them out with your hands. Hmm. There you go. There you go. Now this one's already destroyed, but I got them on Amazon. I think they were like $3. I got four of these, and they're like accordion things where they go back together and they make great sensory noise. Griffin ruins them in an instant, but he loves them. I try to get them almost every birthday or every uh, holiday that I can, um, which I know most special needs parents know about these, but I figure what they're called. I will link some stuff in the description I got from Amazon um, if you're looking for some toys, I know we just finished Christmas, but I'm just sharing with you for like therapy reasons, if you need them for therapy, or if birthdays are coming up. Um, I should have done this before Christmas, but it, it was so hard. I just wanted to share with you what the boys got that I really searched hard for to get something that they would like, because it's so hard. Sorry about the music behind me, Griffin, it's listening to Hamilton. But I got these for Sawyer, I think I got these on Zulily, but they're like sentence builders. Now if you have an autistic son like me, who loves learning and we're trying to grow his learning and his, you know, sentence building. Um, this is a good way for, I'm hoping for conversation too a little bit. Maybe if I do something with sight, um, we can help him answer questions, be more voluntaril, voluntarily give us um, his life and what he's thinking, what he's feeling. So I think this might be really a, a neat tool. I haven't really started this with him yet, but I'm hoping this might help him, you know, socially too, emotionally, uh, and of course acad academia too. So this will be fun to try. Now Sawyer loves math. Um, 
you know, he knows all this basic math, but this is just another fun way to practice. He's not really good at subtraction, which we find very interesting. His brain can't wrap around it super easy, like addition. So I'm hoping this might help him. Again, visual touch, uh, pictures, you know, he can move things around. Um, I think I got this on Zulily too, uh, but I'll show you the cover if you're looking for it. And then, of course, I will link what I got on Amazon too. Uh, I know Sawyer's, you know, not a typical child with his, you know, learning and how he's obsessed with it. But um, I'm just trying to find things that make him want to grow instead of getting stagnant in his learning. It's so hard. It's why one of the things I worry about as a mom that he's just going to get bored and then say, I don't want to do it anymore. And I know he's so capable. So got that. Then a fun gift that we got for the boys and well, for all the kids. I took it under the couch just because it's a good place to store it. I got them. You know how they have those tubes? But they have them with a four one, which has been really fun for them. I find kids just hanging out inside of them, just like having a grand old time. And this is just, it's really fun. And it's just something that I thought the kids would really like. And they have been really, really enjoying it. I got this on Amazon too. I'll try to link what I can, guys. Um, but it's just so, so fun for them. And then one of the last things I got from Fat Brain, which I really like, is one of these toys that like, they make noise and then they slowly go down kind of like the spinner thing I showed you What I like about it is that Griffin it is unbreakable. He can't crush this thing He has tried to get into this thing and he can't this is one of the Griffin's toys and he just will back and forth Watching it playing with it. I just like that it's it, it, indestructible. It's really hard because as you see He can destroy things pretty easily. I mean this is pretty cheap, but you know he just loves to break things. He's been following our journey. He's Mr. Hulk. He's a Houdini, all the things. So these are the kind of gifts we gave our two twin boys for special needs. Um, Lindy, we don't know if she has a disability yet and I don't really have a bunch of things that were unique for her and her, her disability when she's diagnosed. Um, I wonder if that'll change as she gets older, but right now it's she's pretty typical for her two and a half, three year, three year old self. Um, but I hope this helps for gift ideas, maybe next year. Um, it is so hard to shop for children with special needs. Like it is something I dread and um, I have to like really search cause it's just a battle. And I wonder as he gets older, they get older, what this will look like. I don't know. I'm just grateful um, I found stuff this year. So yeah, uh, I will link what I can. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget guys, you are wonderful. Bye.